show you how to customize and load a blog banner in both Blogger and TypePad, and I'm going to show you how to customize it using Photoshop Elements. I, hear, I have here the blog banner from the Black Tie Collection, and on top of that I've opened a new layer and used one of the brushes from the Urban Couture line to stamp in the corner. And then I reduced the opacity of that brush to 24% just so that it would be more of a ghosted image and not be so dark. On top of that, I selected my type tool, which is this tool right here, and I typed out the words basicgray.com. I then highlighted the gray image, and I changed the color of that font to a dark gray. Once you've customized it by adding whatever brushes you want, photographs, and text, you want to flatten the image. In order to flatten the image, you would go to Layer and Flatten Image. Once the image is flattened, then you want to save it separately. So you would go to File, choose Save As, and in this case I'm going to save it as the basic gray blog banner, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I would choose the location so that I'd be able to find it later, and I'm going to hit Save. Now I've already saved this, and that's why it's asking if I want to replace it. Once it's saved, and you know the location where it's at, then you would open, in this case TypePad is the first one that I'm going to show you, you would go to the web blog section. This is how you find where the headers go. Choose web blogs, then design, then theme. And under theme, you would go to text or image. At this time, this is my own personal blog, so I have a separate banner there. And I would just choose the new file that I want to replace it with, the basic gray, and hit choose. And then down at the bottom, I would just select save changes. Now if you want to change it on Blogger, you would go into the Layout tab and at the very top you have your header section. Hit Edit and then under Edit, I've already got this one loaded but I'm going to hit Remove Image. You would have the Choose File tab at that point. You would hit Choose File and then go and select the file, the banner that you have just customized for yourself. Once it comes up, you're just going to choose Save. And that's how you both customize a blog banner and header and then load it into either Blogger or TypePad.